Welcome to the show that takes up no more than five minutes of your time, but could help you gain massive real estate knowledge. It's Five Minutes in Real Estate with best selling author Shane Willis. Good morning, Shane Willis, the Pensacola real estate expert. Welcome to our 50th episode. Our 50th episode of Five Minutes in Real Estate. Apparently, according to some of the statistics I was handed, that puts us in a different class of podcast episodes. Or podcasters, I guess I should say. The statistics that I read, everything that I've seen, said that 80% of podcasters don't get past episode 10. And out of the 20% that do survive past episode 10, another 80% don't get past episode 25. And then we get on to 50. 50 should put us now in the top 10% of podcasters uh, that ever start a podcast show. So, I just want to say thank you to all the people that have downloaded and listened to what I have to say. Hopefully I'm bringing some value to what you're what you're wanting to accomplish in real estate um, or investments because I know we talk sometimes on other investments as well but I wanted to just say thank you I looked down and we've been downloaded over 3,000 times now which Josh floors me that that many people have listened to my voice um, but here we go today is gonna be a, actually a really quick one um, I got a report this morning that I thought was kind of funny um, it is on a Friday Friday morning, and so I just wanted to kind of do, hey, here's an infographic. For those of you who are getting the tips and tricks over at 5minutesinrealestate.com, I will, you will get this infographic. You'll see the, uh, the map that I'm talking about, but it was uh, Atlas Van Lines, the moving company. Atlas Van Lines always does a study where people are moving to, where people are moving from. And they show a map. And it was funny. The uh, top state people are moving to. And forgive me if you're listening from this state. I just don't know. I will consider myself very ignorant about this state. I have never set foot in it. I live on the opposite side of the country. I have been on to the west coast. I have set foot in Washington. I have set foot in Oregon. I have set foot in California. I have set foot in Nevada. But the number one peop- the number one state... People are moving to right now, believe it or not, Idaho. Idaho. Now, the only thing I know about the state is the potatoes. And that's like you saying in Florida, the only thing I know about are beaches. So, I get it. The number two state, Washington. Three, Nevada. I guess Vegas is doing well. Uh, Number nine would put us back in our area. And that would be Alabama. Alabama would be the number nine state people are moving to. So I do have a lot of listeners from Florida because that is where we are uh, currently shooting from. Uh, Florida is not on the list of moving in or moving out. Instead, they are just a normal, balanced, some people are moving out, some people are moving in. Of course, we've got a very, very strong military presence in this state, so I wonder how that plays a factor into this study. Uh, There's a couple of other things that I can do it. But the highest inbound state, Idaho. And that's the second year in a row. Now, it is funny that uh, the outbound states seem to just draw a line right across the country. I mean, literally. The number one outbound state, just in case you were wondering, Illinois. Followed by West Virginia, Nebraska, South Dakota, Indiana, Delaware, New York, Louisiana, and Kansas. Number five, move out state. Move out state, Hawaii. Uh, Again, I think that has something to do with the the strong military presence there on the island. Uh, You've got all four branches there. Uh, So I wonder how that plays into this study. But I'm not here to argue how they got the numbers. I'm just here to report that they got the numbers. Most of the South says uh, it's pretty much balanced. We're not outbound. We're not inbound. Alabama is a a medium inbound state. Uh, I know that Baldwin County, right next door to us here, uh, seems to be growing by leaps and bounds. Um, Louisiana, 
does come on not in the top 10 list, but it does come on. Well, actually, it does come in the top 10 list. Number nine, Louisiana is a move out state. So people leaving Louisiana. Anyways, I just thought it was an interesting thing. Wanted to get you kicked off for the weekend. Something a little fun. Again, something to say thank you for 50 episodes. Uh, next week may be a little light on podcast episodes. I will try and catch up if I can. Uh, for those of you who do know me, know that uh, I also, one of my passions is actually in television and film. I own a production company. We've produced a couple of films uh, that you can find on Amazon now, some short films. Well, I'm actually going up to Tennessee working on a film all week uh, next week. They've got me playing a lead. Uh, characters are rather interesting. So we'll be heading up there to be on set all week. And for those of you who have ever worked or been around a film set, that is usually... 12 to 16 hour days um, running and gunning most of the time. So I will try and get the podcast episodes in next week. But if not, I will make sure that I follow up the following week and I will bring you up to speed on what happened on set. In the meantime, again, thank you so much. 50 episodes. This is flipping awesome. You have a great weekend. Ah, I forgot to tell you. How do I always end the podcast? If you have not subscribed to get our tips, tricks, or infographics about maps of where everybody's moving to, moving from. Get over to 5 Minutes in Real Estate.com. That's 5 Minutes in Real Estate.com. Make sure you get subscribed. I also ask that if you have not subscribed to the podcast yet, get over to either Google Play or iTunes, whichever player you like best. Make sure you hit subscribe. I would love a thumbs up, love a comment. And finally, if you got any value out of this, episode or any other episode that we share please share it on social media have a fantastic weekend we'll talk to you later